Ah, uh, yes, sir. Eric Lima here. You're watching my YouTube show in which my sentimental thoughts come from my heart. It's also, and it's also my YouTube show of mental eyeball shenanigans running in from my brain. It's EML 77 TV episode 519. Uh, if I am not mistaken, I think that's it. I'm going to check my channel. I usually lose track of count and everything else in between with all the craziness going on. You got 519, ladies and gentlemen. How's everyone going? Well, as a Despite all the craziness that's been happening, considering WrestleMania, we're all very concerned about that. We've got two mysteries on NXT that we need answers to. One, who is the tag team that Malcolm Bevins um, brought in to beat up on Matt Riddle this past Wednesday night? We know they're Indian, they're huge, and they are just massive. And they're, and they're like, they said, some say they're the, uh, the cross between AOP and the War Raiders. Uh, they did Demolition's finishing maneuver. Um, to me, they're almost... They, they, they remind me of Demolition, the Bludgeon Brothers, AOP, and the War Raiders. Malcolm Bivens, who was known as Stokely Hathaway, well, got involved in that, and he's their manager, it seems like. So whoever these two big gentlemen are, they're going to be a legit threat after Russell, uh, after WrestleMania season is over. Well, we, well, it all depends on what happens here. With the situation, and here's the crazy part. Now, before all this um, was happening, I think before all this was happening, I think it was um, the first week of March. These uh, two mask, two mask guys wearing luchador masks and dark suits kidnapped Roru Mendoza, and Mia Yim was on the scene when it all went down. So my question is, who kidnapped Roru Mendoza? The 205, one of the 205 live standouts. As you know, and so that's two questions that are going to be answered. Who are those two big gentlemen, two big Indian gentlemen that attacked Matt Riddle? And who is responsible for the kidnapping of Raul Mendoza? As Raul Mendoza aligned himself with some, is, is somebody want recruiting Raul Mendoza for something? For an alliance, a tag team, maybe? I'm not so sure. Are those guys from two, for, uh, 205 Live and Under? That's the question he's answering. And so one guy said, oh, he's on 205 Live. Everybody goes missing from there. Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, those two guys that kidnapped them were over 205. Looks like they're not 205 Live guys. So whoever is, uh, and whoever is kidna um, kidnapping, whoever kidnapped, uh, Raul Mendoza, guy man, better have some answers, that's for sure. And uh, I, I'm kind of interested in seeing who would be the person or persons behind that kidnapping. So that's going to be, I think NXT is going to, I think you're going to see most of the NXT uh, mainstay roster move up to either Raw or SmackDown when all this is over with. And if that's the case, you're going to see a lot of changes within the WWE. Hopefully uh, more releases could happen. And you never know for sure what is going to happen. It's uh, I I have to I have to tell you something. It's been um, I'll tell you what. It's been surreal. Um, the WWE has been going through a lot, but they kept a lot a lot of storylines. We see the return of Io Shirai this Monday night. On um, this Monday night, this past Monday night, on <laughs> Wednesday night, and there's only one spot left. It'll be going to the person with the second chance. So somebody's going to have a second chance. To go in to that six um, six woman ladder match, but a lot of things are happening. A lot of um, a lot of things are um, you know there are people that have been sent home, uh, going home, sent home, and all that. And uh, it's uh, it's a really difficult decision. To, uh, a lot of WrestleMania has been taped and all that, so I don't know. People are making up stuff because they hate the WWE, the way the WWE's been, or what. I uh, don't know because some of them I don't know what their sources are and everything else. So until I get you know conf you know until get, get confirmation and all, um, you know, I wouldn't believe any of the sources right now. I just really know I'm holding the Intercontinental Title. I like this title; it's my favorite championship. All I know is not the title anymore. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura was the last person to hold his version of the title, and um, he's holding a new design and. Now, I bought this, was it last year? So it's really, really cool. And sometime last year. So, wait, wait, did I buy it this year? No, I, I bought it last year. So, uh, 
uh, sometime last year. I forget when I bought this, and I've got now I got to check out the uh, the orders because I, I think I over I, I can over um I can archive over 500 orders now on Amazon. So I know I bought this on Amazon. It's just a matter of uh, when it's it's really really cool. So it's uh <laughs> but anyways I figured I you know if I want to do some wrestling talk, I'm gonna hold this up for a while. Um, so. So, I want to find out what's going on with the WrestleMania card, seriously. Uh, there has been a lot of changes, a lot, a lot of things occurring, so we're going to find, we're going to find out um, when, we're going to find out what matches are actually happen, happening and whatnot, and everything else, and uh, we'll, I know there's a lot of changes are being made, we will find out for sure um, what those changes are when we get to, we'll find out later tonight on SmackDown, in fact, we're about a little over an hour away till SmackDown, so I'm going to watch that and see what's going on, and uh, and we will uh, we will get to it, man. It is um, it is pretty much a, a simple thing, and uh, and then after SmackDown's over, we get 205 Live, so we'll hopefully get some answers about where we're, we'll knows knows it is. So. Um, I know John Quasto and in English will bring us the action. Um, yeah, a lot of things are happening, so it's uh, it's just a matter of uh, you know the mysteries need to be answered. Who are those two big Indian guys attacking Matt Riddle, and who kidnapped Raul Mendoza, and why? So it's a, so it's a lot of things are going on, and so I'll probably hopefully get some answers to you. And and so NXT will be changing up a lot, so. And since they're on TV, they're going to be kicking things up on, uh, uh, um, um, kicking things up a notch. I feel like I'm a little gassy, so yeah. Forgive my appearance. I'm going to start. I'm going to take a shower pretty soon because it's really ridiculous. Um, like I said, it's been a long week. It's been a strange week. I mean, last week I was on vacation. This week I worked the first two days, and all of a sudden, boom, mall shuts down, and here I am at home because of, because of this whole thing. So it's, I mean, it it, it did start. Uh, this past Thursday, and I think my um, I was talking to my mother about this uh, situation, and she says that, that clean uh, being a mall cleaner could be the most dangerous uh, thing uh, I've been involved in. I mean, listen, I never experienced anything like this, and you know, like this before. I mean, I've heard about all the other viruses being spread, but we survived we survived those viruses. So it's this is something new. This is something huge. I don't know if this was a ploy by the media to screw up Donald Trump, uh, President Trump in. I don't know. I know a lot of people don't like Trump. About, was it, 95% of this country don't like Donald Trump at all as president? And and you know, there's a lot of things going on. A lot of crazy things have been happening. Everybody's wearing tinfoil hats, so I'm not you know, going to get into that. But one thing's for sure, it's been crazy. That's all I can say. That's all I can, I'm trying to keep my good spirits up, and hopefully um, this is a temporary thing. Hopefully I can go back to work, and uh, and so right now you're gonna, I'm gonna put up with me for another week yeah, here on YouTube, and um, and and during this time also I know you're gonna be in isolation, you're gonna go crazy and all that. Please be respectful of people here on the internet, and it's really tough to do so when people make some snide remarks and disrespectful comments. And it makes you so angry, you want to like, Ur, you know. But try and, and and try and just try to be mature about the situation, um, about the comments, you know. Because when someone made those two videos of me uh, by the name of R. Baller, instead of me calling them names and all that, I told them, knock it off, let it go. Now is not the time to do this. You're being disrespectful. I don't like it. Um, I, you know, let them know you blocked them and all that good stuff. And that's what I did, you know. Um, you know, this is not right. This is foolishness. Um, let it go. I'm moving on. I'm not this person that you're accusing me of. You're gonna make immature comments, and it's now. It's not the time. You know what I'm saying? So it's uh, just be mature about it. Don't don't rant and rave to say, "Hey, listen, this is what you're acting. This is how we're acting. This is not right. This is not cool. Cut it out. End it." You know, that's why. You know, if they don't listen to you, then screw them. That's all I'm going to say. You know, they don't want to listen to you. They don't want to respect you. Just screw them. Just say, you know what? You're on your own. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to even uh, going to, uh, engage you anymore. And, I, and I told this person, this is, the last, this is the first and last time I'm telling you this, you know. And it's something that we know we need to do. So be respectful towards everybody on the Internet. I know it's not that easy to do. Listen, I'm guilty of that. But the fact of it, about it is, is this. We need to calm down. We can get through this. Just follow the protocol, washing the hands and all that. I think we'll be okay. I know I could not stress this enough. 
Um, I have a lot of respect for good people out there. There's lots of good people that um, like my videos and like my content. I'm going to try to keep positive and all that. So I figured, you know, talk about wrestling a little bit. Like, who can – who can – Raul Mendoza? Who are those two big Indian guys managed by Malcolm Bivens, formerly known as Stokely Hathaway, who attacked Matt Riddle? This is going to be very interesting to see to see what what's going to happen. Because I know with the um, – with the virus, I know most of the international stars can't travel back to America and with, with that going on. So it's like, okay. So it's uh, – it's something to um, – this is something to consider, so it's going to be uh, a long day, a long day, and just to see what happens, and um, we'll see, and we'll pray. All right, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day, and um, hopefully, um, hopefully on the next episode, bring you some video game entertainment, okay? See ya. Bye.